welcome back and if you're new welcome to a tidbit treat where I show you a handful of items in a short period of time so I went to the American Cancer Society thrift shop with my mom yesterday and found a few treats so let me jump right in the first thing are these Copeland Spode Valencia pattern let's say their first salad and the pattern is a pretty blue and green and this is on the Chelsea wicker shape I believe it's called Chelsea wicker see how it has the little basket basket weaving type of image uh, pattern on the side yeah they're very pretty Copeland uh, makes beautiful dishes I don't know if these would be considered ironstone or just china um, I read different things about this pattern as to how old it is. I read one thing that said it was anywhere between the 40s and the 70s, and then I read somewhere else that they actually produced this pattern beginning in the 1930s. Now I can't remember. Anyhow, they later on, I think in the 90s, made a whole new pattern they called Valencia, which was one color. Oh, this blue. But this is an older one and it's really really pretty i got four of those for a dollar a piece can you see that marking or is it blurring oh i'm sorry anyway one of them had a little chip on it i think that first one i showed you but other than that they're in great condition a little chip on the edge here but anyway these guys i thought that was a good price a dollar a piece and I'll have those up for sale in my Etsy Dot Likes Red Shop, which is in the description box below, linked there if you want to find anything. Um, I found this. I love this. This is a 1950s plastic pitcher. I love that crimped kind of design around the cap. It had no odor at all to speak of, and it's clean and a whist as a whistle. I would doubt that it was ever used. Even the um, embossed markings for the measurements on the side are perfect. They're not worn or at all. It's really, really nice. I looked up this. This is by Republic Freeze Tight of Chicago from the, about the 1950s, I would say. It was $2. Okay, I also bought, I didn't buy too many things there. I looked at this set and I tried to decide whether I was going to get it or not and I decided to get it. It was just too pretty to pass up. It's a little depression glass cup and saucer. I have two cup and saucer. And it's clear glass with a little, I suppose they would call it amber. It's so pretty. I just thought it was really, really pretty. And I was able to find this. This set, this pattern is called S pattern or with a striped rose band. And it was produced by Macbeth Evans glass between 1930 and 1933. And it, there was one creamer there. I had to get it. Didn't have the sugar. At first I just put the cups and saucers in the creamer and there were two plates. I think there were two other cups and saucers which I left there. But I got the plates, they're little salad plates. They're about seven and three quarter inches. You can't really see them, can you? They have almost, to me, almost like a little, looks like a morning glory, but it's called S pattern, I think because the little vine looks like a little S there. So very, very pretty. The plates were two for five dollars. The cup and saucers were five dollars for the, the two, and the creamer was three dollars. And what else did I get there? A couple little tchotchke type things. I got this lonely pepper shaker or salt shaker squirrel. 
he was a dollar. He'll look cute in a little fall display. He was cute. And he had a stopper that he was looking for a match. And this, I just thought she was cute. It's not typically something I would buy, but I bought it for myself, maybe for spring decor or Easter decor. The last couple things I have are things I've forgotten from other hauls I had. The first thing is this red um, clear bottom Pyrex bowl. It's a small size. I don't know like the specific sizes and stuff. It's the small size microwavable. I don't know. I think these were from the 80s or 90s. I, I really don't know about these clear bottom bowls, but it's actually really cute. And I think I found it at the SPCA shop when I went there with my daughter. I can't remember. Anyway, it was just a dollar or two. And I'm keeping it for now because it's red. Um, and then this clock. This is a West Clock dial light made in the USA. I'd say it's from the 1960s or 70s and it works perfectly. I plugged it in and I've had it running for a few days and that'll be for sale in my Etsy shop. Well, that's my quick little tidbit treats that I have for you today. A lot more haul, I'm, I'm going crazy thrifting. The stores are full of great things. So a lot more coming up and coming up soon. Have a great day. Ta.